Red Bull Racing is preparing for the 2025 Formula One season with a focus on improving the consistency and adaptability of its new car across different track conditions. The 2024 season exposed some weaknesses in the RB20, particularly in low-speed corners and straight-line performance. The technical team, led by Pierre Wacha, is working on refining the aerodynamic efficiency and mechanical grip to address these challenges. One of the biggest changes for 2025 is the departure of Adrian Newey, the legendary designer responsible for many of Red Bull's dominant cars. His absence marks a significant shift, as this will be the first Red Bull F1 car developed without his direct influence. Despite this, team principal Christian Horner remains confident in the internal structure, emphasizing that Red Bull has a strong and experienced technical department capable of maintaining its competitive edge. The RB21's design philosophy for 2025 focuses on evolution rather than revolution. With a major regulation change coming in 2026, Red Bull aims to refine its existing platform rather than introduce radical changes. This approach allows the team to maximize short-term performance while laying the groundwork for future development. Driver feedback has played a crucial role in shaping the 2025 car. Max Verstappen previously described the RB20 as difficult to drive, highlighting balance issues that affected performance. Red Bull engineers are working on improving the car's predictability and stability, ensuring that both Verstappen and Sergio Perez can extract maximum performance across all race weekends. As the 2025 season approaches, Red Bull is focused on fine-tuning the RB21 to maintain its position as a frontrunner in Formula One. The goal is to deliver a car that performs consistently across all circuits, giving the team the best chance of defending its championships.